Just look at these people waiting. They come every day hoping there's going to be a food distribution. Just look at the faces. They tell the story of Yarmouk, a people, thousands of people living under siege for months upon months without access to enough food or medical assistance. Absolutely desperate. Desperate for help or desperate to get out. Well, this is the result of the siege that was imposed uh, and that prevailed here for uh, so long. Complete destruction. We have walked from the border of the uh, area till uh, uh, this place and uh, we have hardly seen anything, uh, uh, any shop uh, or any um, living accommodation uh, uh, in, in any kind of uh, uh, good order. So there will be a lot of work to do. But it is, uh, it is good that we are here today. It is good that we can start doing what uh, the Security Council resolution has uh, stipulated must be done by the parties, which is to allow humanitarian agencies, UNRWA in this particular case, other agencies in other parts of Syria, deliver desperately needed humanitarian assistance. I've been speaking to the people here. They've been deprived of everything for too long and it is not a day too late that we're able to do this. You look at the queues, so they extend all the way back here, the women in this side, the men on that side. <laughs> Actually, absolutely desperate desperation on their faces. A woman just told me that she came today because it is, it is not so crowded, because we've had this a couple of times before, and there was a huge problem of crowd control.